good day awesome youtubers it is lollyman16 here again for another runescape video today in this runescape video what i wanted to do for you guys today is to show you how to make some more money for free to play uh this is probably my i don't know my 10th tutorial video or something but i i, I figure you know since i have 99 fire making i i may get another tutorial for all you free to play out the, uh excuse me for all you free to play users out there who need some cash quick and you know it's a, a good uh, another I guess alternative money making method so what we want to do in this one is we're going to go to Karamja today and we're going to pick some bananas so first of all you want to start off with 30 GP right I have 210 GP but 30 Actually, 60 GP is good enough. Uh, no, actually, you only really need 30 because you only need to get there once and then use your lodestones to get back. So there are two methods to get to Kalanja. The first method is to use your um, lodestones. So go to your magic tab and go to your home teleport button. And you're going to go to Port Rim. Now, if you don't have the Port Rim Lodestone already activated, you can just go to Lumbridge, go, go, I believe it's, uh, yeah, go, um, I believe it's a little bit south, and you have to go, uh, somewhat, um, west to get to Port Rim. And I will actually show you that in the video. So let's go ahead and use the, uh, quicker method, the Port Rim Lodestone method. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And as you can see, he is now teleporting to Port Rim. Let me uh, zoom in there a little bit. Alright, we have uh, landed in Port Rim. And now you want to, from this lodestone here, you want to go ahead and go to this ship right here, as you can see in the background. So let's go there right now. And once you get to this docks here, you're going to want to pay the fares. Uh, you're going to select this guy right here, seaman, or any of these seamen really. Um, Thresnor, Boris, or this other dude here, uh, Tob Tobias. Anyway, you want to select the option to pay, pay fare. Now, when I first started playing RuneScape, there was no option for this. You had to go through the long method, but you can just... Uh, Select the pay fair option and he will already deduct 30 coins from your um, money pouch and he will automatically take you there and uh, first of all you want to press escape on this scene right here to skip the cutscene or if you want to see the cutscene that's fine with me but anyway we have arrived in Karamja now so you want to cross this gangplank here and you're going to want to go off of this, uh, um, this dock right here and just follow me and we're gonna head uh, a little bit uh, west right here to this banana place and of course as you can see there are there's literally no one here and that's because I am on a low populated world but you want to go red and uh, pick these bananas right here and you're gonna want to do this until you have a full invent inventory now y some of you guys may be asking why I have two runes here and that's because I want to do this quickly um, what I can do here is actually actually uh, teleport to the various places I want to go so you anyway you just want to keep doing this until you get a full inventory and as you can see I've clicked enough times that there are no new bananas left on this tree so just go to another banana and uh, you, you know you can go from there it's really a it's really not that difficult uh, to do guys but yeah, I mean, every banana, if you examine them, are currently worth 215 GP each. So that's a pretty good, darn, pretty darn good profit considering only about f four or five bananas can already get you to 1k, which is worth quite a bit of armor for you, for, you know, for you free new to play, uh, excuse me, uh, you free to play slash new users who just want to make some quick money on RuneScape without going over the hassle of getting you know, 30 magic and all that kind of stuff and doing the high alking thing. Whoops, I actually clicked that by accident. Uh, but yeah, just go ahead and do this until you reach a certain number of bananas. And I will instruct you guys right now that there is no bank on this island. So what you're going to want to do is collect a full inventory and then you want to use your either your lodestones or the pay the fare 
or you can do it my method. Uh, just you know, have the correct amount of magic level for the Barak teleport, or you know, any teleport. It doesn't really matter what teleport you use, but just any teleport will work. So that you don't have to pay another 30 coins to get to Karamja. So anyway, you want to keep doing this until you have a full inventory, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, teleport back to Varok. Okay, and we have arrived in Varok, and so now what we're going to do uh, is we're going to go back to the Grand Exchange and sell them on the Grand Exchange. Now you can go to your bank and just deposit them and repeat the process over again. Um, you know, to make a decent amount of profit. Actually, I believe since there are 28 bananas, we can actually calculate uh, how much bananas you make currently for per inventory. So you're gonna do 28 times 215 bananas. So it's about six six thousand twenty GP profit per inventory. That's pretty good for some of you lower levels out there who just want some quick money. So again, this is a really simple method, and I believe in the GE they sell for. Yeah, they sell for pretty good price and they sell rather quickly although I have not tried this in a while so uh, yeah you're gonna want to test it out but anyway let's go ahead and sell them all for you know roughly around uh, 6,000 I just did 5% less just to make this easier and boom it instantly sells for 6,136 GP so again a very very decent profit and uh, yeah guys so for the remainder of this video, I wanted to show you guys the other way to get to uh, Port Sarim without using your lodestones or your teleportation. Uh, I'm gonna go to Lumbridge, and I'm pretty sure you guys all know where Lumbridge is. You must already already have your uh, Lumbridge lodestone preloaded on there, so let's go ahead and teleport to Lumbridge right now. Uh, just a second, guys. It will take a little bit to get there, so hang on tight. Alrighty, everybody. So he has landed, or you know, my Lightman 16 has landed here, and then from here, you're gonna want to go to Port Serum. And now I've actually sort of forgotten how to get to uh, Port Serum, so I'm gonna have to actually look it up on the map myself. It's been a long time since I've actually had to walk to Port Serum without the uh, lodestone. So let me just go ahead and go to almost to the Alcarim gate right here and let's do a world map selection and I will instruct you where to go so hang on tight alrighty so as you can see we are here right now and Port Sarim is all the way over here so yeah we're gonna want to go back into Lumbridge, go north, and then make a almost like a circle. So let me instruct you how to get there. So uh, we're gonna cross back on this bridge right here, and of course, if you don't know where to go, just follow me, or just follow you know, follow me and follow on the map. So again, go to the lodestone, and then you want to head north, and then you want to head left, go left from. Uh, about right here is good or actually no I'm sorry uh, you have to go uh, north farther until you make it so let's do that and then make a left here that's the one so you want to make it left at this turn right here and just keep heading uh, this way west until you get all the way past Drino village and then yeah then you want to go south so just follow me on the map guys Okay, and now we're at this crossroad right here, so we're going to uh, take another look at the map. And from here, you want to, uh, either you can do one or two things. You can go south right now to Drano Village, and then, uh, you know, kind of head um, west more. Or you can just keep heading west, and then go south, which I'm going to do. So, as soon as this loads, guys, let me close this. Okay, so keep heading west here. All 
Alrighty. Uh, looks like we're just about there. A uh, little bit further. And then we want to go ahead and head south from here. And we are going to... Oh, and uh, you have to be careful about that uh, bandit right there. So, yeah, just head south into Port Serum here, all the way into the docks, and then that's where you want to go to get your bananas. And again, you can pause at any time to see where you're going, and here we are at the ship, so... Again, just repeat the same process, pay the fare to the s any seaman here for 30 coins, and then repeat the process. And, uh, yeah, but that's pretty much it, guys, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of a t tutorial for today, showing you guys how to make some quick money using bananas. Again, no requirements whatsoever with this. Um, it's fairly straightforward, and it gives you a 6k profit per trip, and bananas sell extremely quickly on the GE, so I hope this guys helps. Uh, punch that like sub and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video, of course, and I'll see you guys later on. Stay awesome, everybody, and have a good one.